Hello and welcome back to Station Ears. Today we're in, back in my little test world here and we're going to have another look at going a little bit further with our precision furnace. Now last time we managed to mix some different gases and figure out exactly what temperature they're going to come at when they mix. Uh, which is fine when you're mixing uh, just gold gases there but we want to actually mix fuel into it. Uh, so I've got my fuel mix up here. I've actually got hydrogen and nitrous in. Well, I, well because I can. It's, uh, it's new and I'm using it. Now, uh, first things we probably need to do is, uh, uh, if we're going to figure out what the combustion is, we're going to actually need to know what the combustion equation is. Uh, so now, if, uh, if we look in our help, we find volatiles there. We find that uh, two volatiles are one oxygen, so your ratio of two to one. Uh, it will give us three pollutants, six carbon dioxide and heat. So three moles in actually gives nine moles out um, and plus some heat. Uh, but we're using nitrous and uh, nitrous uh, equation isn't in the help. So um, first thing we've got to do is complain about it. Oh, why is not the information in there? Or then we can just go and do some bloody experiments and figure it out for ourselves. That would be the smarter way to do it, I think. So we shall just shove some uh, fuel into the furnace and push the go button. And see what happens. Uh, so you're empty. So I switch you down. We're good. I'll have to pull apart the plumbing. Ah, uh, that's okay. I can do that. What we're going to do is just hit the button there and see what comes out of it. So we're at 114 moles of each. We push the button. Uh, away we go. Let's hope it doesn't explode. Oh, he's nice and toasty though. Alright, yeah, so as we're burning down, it looks like we get from well, 114, it looks like we're probably going to get, uh, say, double that in nitrogen, uh, well, considering it's N2O. Um, you'd probably expect to get twice as much nit well, nitrogen as N2. So, uh, yeah, you've got twice as much nitrogen as we should have. And, of course, we've got CO2 coming out um, because that's chemistry. Because uh, NOS and volatiles always burns down to nitrogen and carbon dioxide and a pony. Um, right, so we're getting double, double the N2 and double the CO2 for what we put in. Okay, I can handle that. Uh, plus energy, obviously. Now, um, right out. You have served your purpose. Uh, now I can put you back the way you were. Um, right, now the trick is if we want to measure how much heat comes out of it, we're losing heat from this thing here. So uh, I might want to just uh, keep, keep what we've got there. And we'll just use a length of pipe to store it in, and we'll uh, we'll use the auto ignition in the pipe because the pipe is perfectly insulated, so we can just measure the heat difference as the gas comes in, and we'll know how much we're getting out of it. Uh, right. So once again, uh, this is going to be a rather math-heavy episode. So um, yeah, might not be for everyone, but watch on if you want. Let's uh, let let's figure out some combustion. Right, oh, we've had a bit of a clean up there, so I've actually removed the furnace because we're not going to be using it for this, even though it's a furnace building video, we're not using a furnace. So we're all going to do it all into the uh, pipes. We've got our hot pipes there, which are, of course, coloured hot pink. Uh, they are 836.4 degrees C, uh, 10 megapascals. And we've got our fuel line over here. Now we're going to have to mix some fuel. Uh, that'll do us. Uh, now because we want to know exactly how much we've got to mix in there. Because uh, we just start adding it all, it's a little bit hard to know how much we've mixed in there. We've now got a reading of it. We have a 32 mole each of volatiles and nitrous oxide, uh, minus 5 degrees. Um, right, so now I I was going to have a do it a, a, a hard way, but I have had, a, had a, almost a week to think about this. And um, uh, I think we'll do it the easy way. Um, yeah, which is easier. 
Right, uh, but yeah, so I was thinking, well, you're going to have to mix it there and then figure out how much combustibles you've got and um, uh, and then sort of figure out what they're going to combust into and how much energy they're going to liberate. And then you figure out how much the uh, the resulting thermal capacity is of the, of the burnt, burnt fuel is and then figure out how much to add to it from what it has actually combusted. And, um, and yeah, my, my math hurts trying to figure that out. But... I figure the easy way out is um, this will combust into a gas mix and uh, that is another gas mix and last time we figured out how to blend two gas mixes together and get an actual result. So we can just read this and pretend that it is a combusted back gas mix then add the two of them together as if they were just two uh, non-combustible gases and that should give us the final temperature of what we're going to get when these two mix together. Uh, or at least that's the plan. So hopefully that works. Uh, but we know how many moles we've got here. Uh, we know the current energy. I've been told that the energy of the fuel is transferred into the final mix, so it doesn't just disappear. Um, whether or not the, uh, the exhaust products come out at the same temperature as the input, because there is actually more coming out, more mole, twice as many moles coming out, uh, are they holding the same energy or are they holding the same temperature we'll find out I guess and um, plus a certain amount of energy now that's what we've got to figure out because we don't know what the certain amount of energy is um, I have been told but we're going to do an experiment and verify that so um, here we go uh, so we're going to have to read this find out what's in there find the energy of what's in there um, and then we will know what it's going to combust into so we'll figure out the new resulting temperature of that and um, add in the energy and uh, that comes out to here. And we will then know what the temperature that one's going to be. Uh, but we don't know what the energy is at the moment. So we're just going to calculate the outcoming products of that plus the uh, energy. We'll join it into here. And of course we should end up with more energy because that's come from the fuel. We'll be able to divide that by the number of moles in here and we should get how much is then rated per mole of gas. Uh, if that sounds confusing, uh, yeah, I've gone cross-eyed too. So let's, uh, let's see what we can do with it right now then. So we're going to have to read that and find the energy and uh, all that sort of stuff. And we did that last time. So we're already halfway through the code. Uh, if you want to know how we got this um, code from last time, uh, go have a look at the first episode. Once again, it's very math heavy, so enjoy. Um, right, so we shall need to read the fuel sensor and read the tank sensor and add them together. So now we have the have the fuel. We have the tank. I'll we'll put in display one and. Uh, display two. Uh, da, 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 you. Display two, three. Right, so the devices are set up. So we're going to want to read that, uh, find the energy, read that, and find the energy. Um, so we shall. Find our tank is D0, so that's our fuel. Calculate the heat. Um, right, so calculate the heat, and we shall display uh, we shall save to display one the uh, total energy, which is what we set down here, total energy. And down here we'll display that to uh, display two. Uh, so right, firm. Export them. Uh, 
Why have we got zero on that one there? Ah, because I've got switched on. That'll make it work better. Right. That doesn't look right. Uh, let's display one. That's cold. That's very hot. Uh, let's have another look at that. I need to do that. That's better. <laughs> I forget that glitch is there. Right. Now, that's the total energy of the fuel that's in there. And that is the total energy of what's in the tank. Right. So now when I combust that fuel, that energy should go up. Um, by how much? Uh, okay. So now we know that that is going to change into nitrogen and and pollutant, no, carbon dioxide. Uh, I should write that down. I'm just going to get that wrong a lot. If we look up our thermal capacities, we know that. Uh, I uh, renew that carbon dioxide is a 28.2. Once again, I'll just make notes of these ones. The um, nitrogen, uh, where are we? Nitrogen is 20.6. We know that the nitrous is 23. And the Hydrogen or volatiles uh, is there, 20.4. Specific heat uh, of the input gas is 43.4. Uh, and once it's combusted, it goes up to 97.2 because there'll be uh, more moles of it. Uh, now, um, so we want to take our input energy, or our input uh, heat capacity, and I want to raise it by that ratio. Right, so that's what we've got at the moment. When the, well, that's, well, if we mix them together without combustion, that's what we'd get at the moment. So if I now uh, just uh, freeze you by commenting out that one, uh, export that, that number stays the same. And now if we mix them together, we should get whatever the extra energy is. Uh, right, so 32 mole. Uh, export, we have 31, uh, 32, right, near enough. Okay, so that's the total energy of the combined mix. That's the number of moles of fuel. So now if I get the resulting energy here, which will come over here, we'll subtract that one, divide by the number of moles, and it should give us the amount of energy that comes in per mole. Uh, oh, that's the way I think it'll work. Export, we're good. Now if I mix it, those two numbers should stay the same, and that one should go up. No, that's good. It's working. Right, so that was a predicted amount of total energy. And this is what we've actually got now. Uh, so we see it's all going. Once again, the combustion is not an instant process. So we still do have some in there. There's not much. It is burning very quickly. Uh, we'll let it all mix in. Then we'll have to wait around until it all combusts. Uh, there we go. You've done your job. Uh, now we're just going to wait for it. Oh, okay, yeah, tiny amount there left. And we're good. So now I should just be able to change that now to load in the setting from that one and that one. If I take that minus that will give us the extra energy which has come from the fuel and divide by the moles which will give us the energy per per uh, bit of fuel. Uh, so let's see if that works. So now that 
should be the amount of energy we get per mole of fuel. Uh, which I think uh, that seems reasonable. Uh, uh, so we'll repeat it again with a different amount of fuel and different temperatures in here and see if we get that same number. Got a bit more this time, so we've got 79 moles this time. Uh, we've got a bit more energy in there. So that is our calculated energy for the uh, final mix with excluding the combustion. Now a seven. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> um, oops. It's close. Ah, did I not wait long enough last time? No, we haven't quite got a perfect combustion on it, but um, it's close. <laughs> right, now I did go and look up that number. The number I'm looking for is 57200, so I was not far off. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit short because... Um, Probably a little bit of incomplete combustion there, so I probably do need to calculate the actual amount of combustion there. But um, let's not worry about that for I think our experiment has proven well enough what we want to do. So now we want to be able to mix to a specific heat and pressure. So, um, so once again, I think we should just use a length of pipe rather than going for the furnace because the furnace will introduce a, a cool down effect that I'll have to allow for. And that's just an extra variable I don't want to have to do in my maths as yet. Um, but I'd like to be able to just create a ch another chamber there. I'll put a volume pump from the, wa from the waste tank into a little section of pipes and I shall put the fuel feed directly into that section of pipes. And I will want to be able to blow in a certain pressure of gas and a certain amount of um, uh, fuel. And it should be able to calculate the unburnt fuel, what the end temperature will be in the tank. Uh, so that's the goal we're going to have. Quick reset of what we've got here. So we have our pink pipe. That's going to be our combustion chamber. Uh, now we have our waste tank, which is just uh, this pipe here. I'll probably change it out for tank now because I'm not really using it for anything. You know, I've got an input pipe which will put the cold gas in. We've got an output pump which will take the hot gas out. And the fuel pump which will, well, it's just a mixer there. So I don't have a very fine control over that one. So we'll see how we go. Right, so the trick here now is going to have a look at what's in the pipe. Figure out how much of it is going to combust figure out what the resulting fuel mix, resulting gas mix will be after combustion and the resulting energy will be after combustion. So um, we'll see how we go. Now we are just using, once again, nitrous and volatiles. There is no oxide, oxygen in there that we've got to worry about. So that will just further complicate the uh, math on it. So we're not going to go that far just as yet. Um, right, so back into our equation. So we don't have a fuel mixer. They're gone. So we can say that our tank, we'll put our tank to D0, just for the sake of it there, we've got two displays. Um, so we shall have uh, display one, uh, which will be our, we'll put that to big display. That'll be our um, uh, prediction. And we'll just put in uh, display 2 as what the actual one is. I'll put in Kelvin there just to make it a bit easier to read. Um, right. Right, so it's currently 833 and the predicted temperature is 833. Well, duh. Now, if I add fuel into it, the predicted temperature is changing. Well, that shouldn't be happening. Okay, I got that wrong. Right, so we want to know what the combustion is going to be. So we're going to load the volatiles, load the nitrous oxide. The combustion is going to be the lesser of those two. 
and the total moles burnt will be that. The combustion energy will be that times that as we add that to the total energy. Done. Right, so now our heat capacity, that is the next one we've got to do. We're going to, going to have to adjust that. So we're going to have to add um, heat capacity or subtract the heat capacity for the uh, nitrous and the hydrogen and add it for the, uh, the nitrogen and the CO2. So a quick bit of maths on that. For each mole, we are going to lose, for each mole combusted, we're going to lose 43.4 uh, 40, uh, specific heat times the total moles, and we're going to gain 97.2 uh, so I guess that is just a difference. That's what we do. We just got to add the difference in, don't we? Uh, so that will be uh, fifty-three point eight. Yeah. So we if we should just have to multiply become uh, oh, zero is the combustion times uh, fifty three point eight, which is the extra specific height we are gaining per mole. Uh, and the combustion is already in moles. Right, so that will be the extra specific heat we get. So we add to the heat capacity uh, uh, zero. Uh, so that's the heat capacity after combustion. Uh, and we just divide that, the total energy divided by the heat capacity will give us a temperature. That still sounds too simple. Um, but our numbers are the same. Right, so now if I add gas, Damn it, they're both still changing. <laughs> they're not by much. So, checking my maths here, my combustion is uh, 54.2. Uh, so, uh, close but no banana. Export. Uh, right, so now, will that work? Yeah. Oh, it's now stable. Right, it's holding steady now, so I think my maths is right. When we get to four, 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 two, uh, four, four, one, I think we're going to get there. That looks like a, uh, a good number. Nine eight nine nine four four two. Ho oh, ho. Nice. Right. Let's give that another go. Uh, let's just, let's just uh, relieve that pressure a little bit, shall we? So we're at eight hundred degrees. If I bump in a bit more gas. Whoa. That's uh yeah that's uh that's a fair bit warmer. Once again, the temperature predicted temperature is holding steady. Uh, four, five, nine, two. It can calculate combustion. Well, it can calculate the combustion with uh, nitrous. If you bring in oxygen, that's going to be interesting. 
because there'd be a partial combustion of the hydrogen with the oxygen, a partial combustion with the nitrous, which I'll need to figure out uh, how that works. Now, is that going to be done via uh, a half and half, or is there going to be something a bit more on that? I don't know. There we go, 4592. We have hit the temperature we're looking for. Right, so we can predict that okay with nitrous. Um, with oxygen, it'll just be a matter of doing the same with the oxygen, but uh, doing the prediction based on the uh, our lesser combustion rate. So we'll just have to halve that value and multiply that by the hydrogen that gets burned. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh well, back to the drawing board. No. Well, that's not working. <laughs> so much for that plan. So our oxygen and our nitrous is being used on a one-to-one -one basis. So that's oxygen. So the oxygen... is being used. So the oxygen is burning twice as much hydrogen. Is that right? The oxygen is actually... Uh, that's the rate the oxygen is being used compared to the rate that the nitrous is being used. The oxygen will burn twice as much hydrogen. Okay, weird. That's what it is. It is what it is. Uh, so if I bump in a bit more... No, we're still getting a 1. Okay. So, uh, well, shit, I think I made a lot, a lot of dumb errors in that one there. Uh, I think I've got it going now. Uh, it's holding a steady predicted temperature. If I put in some, uh, if I get rid of some of that. Let's get rid of a lot of that. Still going up in temperature. Very good. Now, we have a prediction there. Uh, 2446. 0.422. I can add in some hydrogen fuel. We have a mix of that. Add in the nitrous. Okay, that doesn't work. Uh, time for bed, but I can't figure it out. <laughs> right, here we are the next morning. So, um, uh, I had a bit of time to think on this one. Now, I didn't really understand it, but I've, I've come around and tried a few things there, and now I've got it to work. Uh, so, we have our actual temperature and our predicted temperature. If we add in some hydrogen fuel, uh, boop, it now calculates the new temperature, and it will get to that. If we put in some nitrous, mix the fuel now, so we've got two different fuels in there, it is now predicted a stable temperature and it will get there. So it is correctly calculating the ratio burned of oxygen to nitrous and it has given us a number which is which does work correctly. Oh damn that was a, that was a mess around. Uh, but anyway, so we start. We look at the tank contents, figure out the heat and the total energy of what's in there, our specific heat, our heat capacity, and our total energy. Then we have to offset that for the combustion. Now we will have a partial combustion of nitrous and oxygen. The first thing we have to do is figure out how much is going to burn. So we, we're going to add, our oxygen will burn two hydrogen, so we're going to multiply that by two, and um, nitrous will burn one hydrogen. So we, if we add Two, two, two times the amount of oxygen by one times the amount of nitrous, that's how much hydrogen will be consumed to completely combust them. So if you've got enough volatiles, 
Uh, these ones are running out first. If you don't, if you've got too much volatiles, um, you'll have them left over. So you've got to find out which one is less. So which of us are less, less of the volatiles or the combined oxidizer, um, which is R3 is our combined neck oxidizers. So once you know how much of that is going to burn, we're pretty easy. So that's how much hydrogen is going to burn. So then we've got to figure out the amount of nitrous will burn. The amount of nitrous and uh, oxygen will burn just depend on how much it's there. So if you've got twice as much nitrous uh, compared to oxygen, you'll use twice as much nitrous as to oxygen. <sighs> right, so we're going to take the total combustion times just the ratio of those two there. So it is the ratio of nitrous versus the total, which is R3, which we combine down here. So multiply it by that, then divide it by the total, which will give us the proportion of uh, nitrous which is going to burn, or the proportion of nitrous which is going to consume the hydrogen. So the energy output from that will be the combustion times the energy output. Add that to the energy. The uh, heat capacity generated from that reaction will be the combustion times the heat reaction, the heat, gener uh, the heat capacity generated from the, the output materials add that into your heat capacity and repeat for the oxygen. So the ratio of oxygen divided by total uh, by the, um, the combustion, O2 combustion times the amount of heat generated per hydrogen. We're still talking about the combustion of the hydrogen and the energy released. So the uh, specific heat from the uh, combustion components, add that to the heat capacity. So we've adjusted the heat capacity and the total energy by the amount of uncombusted gas that's in the furnace. Huh. So that should mean we just divide our total energy by the total heat capacity will give us the final temperature for when it is done. And holy crap, that was a hard bit of thinking, that one there. But it does it, as you can see, if I just... Pressure critical. Oh, temperature go away. Critical. If I just add in nitrous, it calculates it by its correct number. If it is a combination of both, it's still doing it. That's... Is awesome. So that's what I needed for my furnace. So now I just know how much of the gas I've got it before that pipe blows. Let's switch that off. Um, <laughs> so before I actually um, add fuel to it, I know how much gas I'd have to take from my balance tank and put in the furnace. Then I can figure out, start pumping in gas until this calculated number reaches the temperature I want. And then shut off the gas pipe, uh, off the fuel pipe. Uh, now that will put a bit of extra gas in there, but uh, we'll figure that out another day because uh, uh, I've, I've probably had enough maths for, for now. Yes, that's right. There is such a thing as too much maths in a day. Huh. But um, uh, we'll call that a win for this week. So until next time, <laughs> happy building. See ya. I uh, know not everybody likes maths, but... Um, this is cool. It's heading somewhere. It is getting somewhere. We will get to a build uh, eventually. This is the groundwork for it. So, uh, yeah. Next one, we start building a furnace. Cool. Ciao.